Hello, my name is Prashad Balmi for Paraclatos, and we are going today uh, the book of Kelat, chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. We have been already through chapter 1, and we've been uh, with Paul, our apostle, for the, today. We've seen that there are other gospels, and that God has two different gospels, the one for the Jew and the one for the Gentiles. The one was water baptized, and then you get the Holy Ghost, and the other one is for us today, believing that only by faith we receive the baptisms. We've seen how God gave the true gospel, we built it into Paul, and Paul preaching the true gospel found in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 1 to 4. We saw that uh, what was preached before and what was revealed to Paul, we saw who is Paul and how Paul was uh, uh, called apostle and the definition of an apostle. Paul persecuted the true church of God. We saw the difference between a church and churches. We saw how an entire nation rejected the Messiah. Some of the two got saved and how Paul took to the Gentiles the message of salvation. We saw how Paul, after being the one persecuting God, saved and then he was receiving the persecution according to the book of Galatia, verse 1, verse, uh, Galatia chapter 1, pardon, verse 23. Like Jeremiah, Paul too was someone that God chooses from the womb. He separated him from his mother's womb. So God, in his infinite wisdom, can look forward in a person and say, I'm going to use that person in the future. And that's happened to Paul and Jeremiah. We saw as well that the Jeremiah is for the Old Testament and Paul is for the New Testament and how the both uh, mirror them, themselves. Everything happened in the Old Testament actually happening in the New Testament. We saw the church are in the book of Acts uh, that tells us what happened after Jesus died. Uh, we are Act 15. We read it and saw that Paul and Barnabas was confronted to the question by the elders. What about circumcision? For this to happen, you have to be under the law or to be circumcised. So this question isn't just a question about circumcision, it is really about the law. The law was you, you're saved by faith and works. Are we saved in Jesus through works? Are we keeping the law? This is what the entire book of Galatians is been talking about. It's in a time period where they were asking, is the law part of salvation? This chapter 2 of the book of uh, Galatians shows us how a lot of Galatians are questioning, are you saved by the law or work? Act 10, 11, actually, this is where Peter preaches for the first time to the Gentiles. And uh, Paul is saved in Act chapter 9 and shows up, shows up, actually, in chapter 9. And Peter shows up Act uh, chapter 10, 11. Actually, the chapter 13 is where Paul is called to go on a missionary journey. And all that happening is after Paul is gone on a missionary journey and preaching to a lot of people, according to Act 15, verse 3. Remember, Peter was more for the Jew, and Paul was uh, first to the Jew and then the Gentiles. But I say that because uh, Peter's ministry was more to Jew and Paul's ministry was more to Gentiles. And this is an important point here because uh, uh, Paul went to the Church of Christ. The Church of Christ did not start with uh, Paul. 
Galato says that Paul went to Jerusalem after he got saved. He did not have any contact with the, the other apostle. He went to Jerusalem to study the Bible, to, to do the work on uh, the, the, the good work of faith. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing of the God, of the word of God. And he, he took his Bible and uh, studied in the, the meantime, this is what happened and why he went to Jerusalem. According to Act 15.4, they were seen the apostles and the elders. And this is super important here. The church starts with Jesus Christ and it tells us the church is the body and the body is the cross. The cross, Jesus is the church existed the cross with Jesus on it existed before Paul so the body of Christ existed before Paul was the mystery of the body we already saw that uh, the book of Acts is a transition period you can't be saved by the law that was a curse and that added work to faith What is a course? A course is a calamity that you don't want to wish to anybody and uh, that you don't want to have any, anyway, you don't want to have this because it's, uh, it's been in bondage. We as Christians are not under bondage. We saw today that we can be saved by believing and receive the Holy Ghost. According to verse 6, Peter uh, shows up and uh, now is talking the true gospel in verse 7 and says it is written, men and brethren, ye not, uh, uh, pardon, ye know how that a good while ago God made choice among us that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe. In verse 10 we see here, Now therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciple which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? Peter explicitly here saying here to keep the law is to be under bondage. What a confession! The law was so demanding and that we Jew couldn't even fulfill it. What a blessing to have Jesus Christ and get away from the law because Paul called it a curse, a calamity, something, something that is so heavy to do because the law is a bondage and we have now the grace to be free in Christ. The verse 11 says, Peter says here, it is written, we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved, even as they, so we are saved by grace through faith. So this is what God revealed to Paul. And he corrected Peter that was preaching a different gospel. According to Act 15, it's not what Peter preached in uh, Act 2.38. The book of Act is a transitional book where there is a change from Jew to Gentile. Peter preached water baptized. He said, we burned, be baptized, every one of you. Receive the Holy Ghost. So water baptized, give the Holy Ghost. What about the baptized in Act chapter 2? And here in Act 15. And the same Peter that was preaching that to Jew is the same Peter over Act 15 saying, We are saved by grace through faith alone. Something changed. What changes? Going to the Gentiles. This is what changing, going to the Gentile with the gospel. And God says, now, Peter, you're saved by grace through faith and not by work. 
according to Act 1011, we see Cornelius. And uh, let's let's have uh, let's see what happened to him, Cornelius, in Act 1039. And we are witnesses of all things which he did, both and the law of Jew and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hanged on a tree. At 10.30, says it is written, him, God, raised up the third day and slew it him openly. What is that? That's the gospel, the simplicity in Christ, the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1, 4, the gospel, the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus died for our sin, was buried, was again the third day according to the scriptures. And Peter is mentioning the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles in this chapter 10 of Acts. Now look what it says in verse 43. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name whoever believe in him, Jesus shall receive remission of sins. And look what happened in verse 44. While Peter yet spake those words, the Holy Ghost fell on them, on all of them, which heard the word. You believe in him and you receive salvation. Who was to them? That's uh, uh, the Gentiles. Now those Gentiles got the Holy Ghost by receiving the Holy Ghost by faith, by believing. There's no work there. You don't have to be circumcised there. The Holy Ghost came upon these Gentiles not by water baptized, but by faith. God has two different ways of salvation in the book of Acts. The first one was most Jew and uh, they have to be baptized in water. And now, that's the one for us, valid for us nowadays. That's for the Gentiles. We have nowadays baptized by faith and received the Holy Ghost. We don't have to do anything today. You can be saved in believing the word of God. I'm Brigitte Balmy and we see us uh, next time for going deeper in the same chapter to Galat 2 and uh, we will be between verses 4 and 5. Thank you for being there and uh, have a nice day. Bye.